up. Ooh. I tried to record a little bit earlier, but there are some tree cutters or whatever the technological term is for them. Cutting the damn tree next to my room. Every time I try and talk, the the chainsaw goes off. Um, funny story this morning. So I woke up butt ass naked because it was hot in my room last night and sometimes I fucking sleep naked to be ventilated, bitch. Oh, I like wake up and I hear this fucking chainsaw and I'm like, okay, maybe it'll go away eventually, but no. No, no, no. It kept going and going like the fucking Energizer Bunny. And I turned to my window and there is homeboy literally on the tree next to my, my room window just cutting fucking branches off while I'm just caked out. Bitch. Anyway, good morning. So Miles is dressing up as the Babadook for the RuPaul's Drag Race live finale viewing. If you don't know who the Babadook is, unfollow me now. But yeah. <laughs> the only the true gay icon. Yes, that is the Babadook yes. right there. And he is the LGBT icon that we didn't ask for, but yes. it's the one that we deserve. What's up? I'm just, <laughs> bye. Everyone's just doing their makeup and getting all glammed up. I'm in here with a jacked tank top on. Why are you bothering me right now? I know. Look at all this fucking makeup that he has right here. Well, let's not even look at all this. He can like, <laughs> this boy. All right, Miss Babadook. Let's see the finished look. I mean, I could have done more, but time constraints. <laughs> no, it looks great. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ba -ba. Bye, Baba Duke. Baba Duke. Baba see. Baba It is a bright in this house after they cut the trees down. I don't know what to do with my hair, so y'all gonna have to deal with it. So, uh, my roommates, um, well, Miles and Gabe, went to the RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9 finale party thing. Uh, and they left little old me here. So, I'm gonna finish vlogging and I'm gonna go to the gym. And, uh, oh, and it's Pride! Happy Pride! Woo! Yeah, wow, that was very dry. Before I go ahead and sit down, um, I want to give a quick shout out to Opinion Outpost who is sponsoring this vlog. If you don't know what Opinion Outpost is, I'm going to leave a link for that in the description box down below. Basically, a lot of companies are going to be wanting, like, anonymous, um, just opinions on their company so that they can better progress and just be a better business. Um, but the fun thing about it <laughs> is that it's not just for free. You can get um, cards, you can redeem that for Amazon gift cards and a bunch of fun things. So you're basically making money by, you know, stating your opinion. So y'all talking on Twitter and on social media might as well get paid for it. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below. So check that out. All right, my hands are getting tired. So this is the backdrop that my roommate Gabe had. He created this um, for Pride to basically take a bunch of pictures of like, you know, our friends and like say what Pride means to us. So I might as well use this backdrop for the talking portion. I mean, might as well put this bitch to good use, okay? This thing sounds so dry. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Hi, how's it going? So, it is Pride Month! Finally! It's been Pride Month for like nine days now, but this is the first time you're hearing me and seeing a vlog so I can talk about it. So it is Pride Month all June. Our orange president failed to mention that. But, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm just basically gonna talk about pride and being gay and how that's affected me. Um, just because it seems very fitting um, to talk about that very briefly for the vlog and just fill you guys in with what's going on with my whole LA transition and blossoming into a beautiful purple headed butterfly. As you guys probably know by now, I am gay. Um, I have been since I was at least four years old when I had a crush on the Blue Power Ranger, Billy. Um, I always talk about that story, but I'm very proud to be gay. Um, very much so, especially in this this um, economy right now. It's very trying, it's hard times, but I'm very appreciative of how far we've come um, as 
a group of people still have a long way to go. A very long way. And I feel like sometimes, especially my age group, maybe even a little bit older, kind of forgot what gay pride is all about. There's just so much hatred in the gay community um, right now and so much bias and internalized homophobia and racism that a lot of people just don't deal with. Um, especially in the dating world, um, especially being black. You know what I mean? Like, I can only speak on my experiences as a black male and especially as a black gay male. Um, there's a lot of fetishism, there's a lot of, um, a lot of just being attracted to black men as a tool or as a sexual pleasure. And even when it comes to transgender rights, there are people who seem to forget that the whole gay pride movement was created by a woman of color, a transgender woman of color who we seem to forget that she's the reason why a lot of this has trickled down and started and we have a lot of the rights that we have. The gay community being very harsh and very negative and very, very aggressive and it's just, it's very toxic and I feel like I don't see a very prosperous or bright future if we keep going in this direction. I am proud to be a gay man but there's a lot of work that we have to do and I just want to know your guys' opinion on what I was um, talking about. I can go deeper into it um, in another video if you guys want. Like, you know, I got I got stories and I got ideas and thoughts for days, bitch. But I didn't really want to put the whole vlog to be about me ranting about the gay community and things that we can do better. Um, just because, you know, who has time for that? But anyway, life update. Um, Everything's great in LA. Um, I got a job as a fashion merchandiser, so I'm styling shit. And hopefully soon, I'm gonna be working on their Instagram account. But I will let you guys know more about that as it comes. Of course, I always talk about everything in great detail on Twitter. If you guys wanna follow me on Twitter um, and Instagram, I'm gonna leave that right here. But everything's really been good. Like, things are finally progressing. I've been in LA for four going on five months. And it's been crazy that so much time has passed by that I've been here and I, I feel like finally, I'm not there yet, but I feel like I'm finally getting comfortable with LA and I finally feel like I live here. Um, and I also created a Patreon account. Um, so if you guys wanna support the channel, I have this cool idea um, that I want to do if you guys want to support that so I go into my patreon account I'll leave that in the description box as well um, I have a, a bunch of cool rewards. I'm thinking about making a series where I interview a bunch of Either black youtubers or just black social media people or just just carefree black people in general and just talk about their experience and what it means to be carefree and what they're doing um, in the community in the 2017 going onward to better our community. So if you guys wanna go to the, uh, my Patreon and support that, I would greatly appreciate that. And speaking of carefree, I'm not sure if my last video even like posted or what, but my last video was a lookbook. I'm gonna leave that right here if you guys can go watch that. I don't know what happened, but I think it's when I make it private, like it doesn't hit a lot of people's in, um, subscription boxes, which is weird, but um, if you guys can go watch that, um, that'd be great. I have things to do, so thank you for listening to what I had to, to done said, and... <sighs> I've been watching Charm for the past like week, I'm on season four right now, and I, I literally, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. No, I, what the hell is this? It needs to go away. And to Control, Please by SZA. But I call her Za, because it sounds cooler, but listen to SZA's music. So I like literally took an uh, accidental nap as I usually do. I think it's like a running theme in this video. Oh my god, that's a full moon. I think. I think it's a full moon. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's like 9.50 and I'm gonna go to the gym real quick. I fought with myself. I didn't want to do it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay consistent. Um, the quicker I go to the gym, the quicker I could come back, watch Charmed and eat. Um, mostly eat because I'm hungry. I'm go call the lift. Blues can do, we can do.
Oh my god, how cute is this? All of the, like, the lift cars have little rainbows on it for pride. Oh my god, it's so adorable! Really? Tell me how I get to the gym and it literally closes 30 minutes after I get there. I am tired of manifesting shit. Like, I didn't want to go to the gym and you know what? The universe is like, bitch, you're gonna get there. You're not gonna have to do anything because I barely had time to fucking work out. So, here I am back home, not even two hours after I even made the first vlog portion of me going to the gym. Like, I am done. I had intentions to actually work out. This is what happens. I'm over here, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna just suck it up. And I'm gonna go to the gym. And you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna watch Charmed. And I'm just, I'm done. I'm gonna go eat, like, I'm stressed. I'm tired. Fucking, this is Baba Duke's fault. So for dinner, I usually make, like, rice and beans. So I'm going to use my, Rice cooker. As you can see, I'm not the best or, more, or the most um, efficient cooker. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> Go blam! Okay, that's good. My patrons of the week, um, Aiden Novo and Alex L. Thank you guys for donating and being a part of my channel support. My battery's dying, so that's my cue to get the fuck out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, peace out, bitches, and happy pride. <laughs>